pull him the Golden Gauntlet. I'm Toph. Zane's back there. That's crazy. Uh, we're doing route tables. So we got none. We got salt. We got axe. We would have lawed. First word of business, we got to talk about. Uh, He's with patience. Just like how we're being patient, waiting for Laud. Yeah, this is why they pay me the big bucks. Yeah. Uh, okay, so we're just we're talking about melee. We're talking about melee, um, and the first thing we got to we got to talk about because we we were chatting a little bit briefly. Uh, what what's with all these Donkey Kongs? The floor is yours, dude. Especially on ranked. Like once rank came out. All yeah. the DKs kind of just like came out, right? Yeah. I've been seeing, like, I remember when it came out, it was on Twitter. Like, all these clips on Twitter just like, oh, Donkey Kong's everywhere. I don't know why. You look on the ranked, um, yeah. the leaderboards on Slippy, and it's yeah. just like, like a handful of DKs coming out. <laughs> I think like Akir. Okay. Uh, da? 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 da. Is, it, is, is it Da or DA? It's just, I don't know. I think it's okay. just Da. Cool. Like, they we all know. After main stage. There are, at least, oh, yeah. there are at least 37 new clips every 24 hours on Twitter. Uh, obviously, Wrangler. We got to shout out Wrangler. Wrangler. Yeah, that's like the obvious um, one, right? Yeah, that's the obvious one. I'll say it. If Wrangler got that set over Leffen, I think, like, the, we'd be, like, I think because we're in this timeline, and that would have taken the timeline, like, I feel like that inspired a lot, right? It had to have. Because you see Wrangler just, like, basically beat Leffen, but not really. Beat the Fox. <laughs> yeah. the fo like, we yeah, can say yeah. beat the Fox. Yeah, yeah. He beat... He beat he, he won in a best of three to the Fox. Yeah. He lost in a best of five, five to, to the, the Sheep. Sheep. Yeah. 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 So, you know, yeah. it's uh, impressive. Nice stuff. Ever since then, actually, is when the DKs have been coming out, right? Yeah. yeah. That's how it feels. He was like the catalyst. Dude, right? that's actually how I felt when I saw Armada play okay. with Young Link against Hungrybox. Mm -hmm. Like, as yeah. soon as he did that, I was like, Young Link can do it. Yeah. And then I, I felt inspired to try, too. So Wait, actually, like, that's you're a Young real Link. Thing. Your, your, like, your Young Link is yeah. a little bit of a, wow. Yeah, well, I mean, I always played Young Link before Armada counterpick versus Hungrybox, yeah. but once Armada did that and won, I was inspired to take it more seriously. Yeah, okay, you were like, oh, maybe I should, I was <laughs> like, I should like, this put is like a legitimate this. thing. I never thought about picking Young Link versus Hungrybox ever until uh, then. I'll be honest, uh, I, I, also pick, I also play Young Link. When I saw his, I'm like, mine's better. <laughs> <laughs> I was young and ignorant, right? Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. You know, you yeah. see Young Link. Just like... Young Link. <laughs> You're trying to roll today. <laughs> You're trying to roll today. I don't know what's happening. What, what can I say? <laughs> uh, what were we talking about? Young Link. Yeah. But you were no. playing Young Link back then? It's my first character, yeah. Long time. Character. First character. Well, oh, Link, then just quickly I switched. This was before you had to go to the capital. Yeah, I was like, I was like five minutes away from my house playing Young Link. The Nun Orange Storm is crazy. He had, to, he, had to, he had to switch to Falcon to beat the people in the, cap, the capital. Yeah, that's yeah. Nuts. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's the whole no knee thing, right? We've explained it before. I don't know. Yeah. It's yours. Don't ask me. It's your story. There's this guy. It's a whole no knee thing. He would just spam knee for everything, and I would rage. Not like throwing controllers, but I would get very angry. Not angry, which is like. No, yeah. but I legitimately told him. Yeah. I'm, I'm pissed. And I say in his face, I'm pissed. I'm going to come back on Monday. I'm going to beat you with your own character. And I'm not even going to use knee. <laughs> and then, lo and behold, I did that. And then, yeah, that's kind of the no knee thing. Oh. Because he would spam it. He would just throw, throw it. Kind of like Bond, but, you know. <laughs> but Bond is like Bond, so it's different. Bond Anyways, is like Bond. Yeah. Makes it He's just cool. like this, <laughs> is what I've learned. OK. Yeah. Like yeah. this? No, yeah. It's like, like Bond is like a part of you now. In my neighborhood, yeah. Yeah, in your neighborhood. In yeah. your neighborhood. Yeah. In your neighborhood. You played Young Link. Yeah. We need to, I want to, because, okay. Yeah, we're talking about like mid tiers and stuff, <laughs> which is pertinent. We had you on for the mid tier round table. Yeah, yeah, that was um, cool. I liked it. And we, and we also had Aklo, which I thought was funny, because he's the only one that mained a high tier. Liter yeah, <laughs> mains a high tier. But he plays Link. But represents, yeah, a good yeah. amount of Link. I was going to say, yeah, we did not have Wrangler. Yeah, what do you think? Let's just go around in a sentence. Thoughts on Donkey Kong. He's, it's terrifying to fight a really good one. I want to say more, but you said just one sentence. Oh, no, 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 yeah, okay, <laughs> blurb, blurb, little short blurb. No, I didn't, yeah. It's just the fact that he can kill me off a grab. Not many characters have that on Pikachu, so that terrifies me. Oh, we can do it to Pikachu. Yeah, like if oh, I'm at 100, I'm dead. You should not grab. reveal this information to the general. Oh, oh, but well, I can get out if I have uh, good, DI, good DI. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Like, everything's counterplay. <laughs> yeah. 
If he was good, I might play him because he was my childhood character. Oh, shit. But he, I don't know. He's, yeah. He's weird. Do you have a pocket, DK? I have a pocket everything. So your char- Yeah, your pocket characters are Wait, do you have a pocket crazy. Pikachu, too? Yeah. Oh, I actually cool. oh, started out with Pikachu as a, a main and PM a long time ago. Pikachu's cool in that game, right? Because it's like He's melee so Pikachu. He, he, he can do the upbeat stuff where he goes, tink, tink, tink. Yeah, that's yeah, it's crazy. The brawl tech. That's, yeah, that you have the tech. melee tech and the brawl tech. That's insane. Yeah, that sounds really good. Like, if I get, <laughs> dude, melee Pikachu, but with quick attack canceling. Oh, yeah, fuck that. He'd be I, I do not yeah. want to see you playing He's got that. 64 back air. That thing's crazy. No. Yeah, yes. <laughs> no, that's too much. <laughs> you don't need all that. If that Pikachu was in melee, I think he would be. be. You'd be. Winning everything. Probably still not as good as Fox. Oh, yeah, I would win everything. <laughs> uh, I mean, I've seen how you do against Fox with current Melee Pikachu. I'm pretty sure oh, that, that might push it over the edge. It's hit or miss. But people are adaptive. You, know, uh, you never know. I guess. Thoughts on Donkey Kong? Do you, you don't play any Donkey Kong. Okay, hold on. That's pretty badass to say. I have a pocket everything. I mean, I think about that. Salt, Salt's pocket characters are fucking crazy. No, but like in life in general, do you have any free time today? Yeah, I have some time in my pocket. What's up? <laughs> pocket everything. Pocket everything. Pocket yeah, everything. So badass. <laughs> yeah. Start saying that. That's badass. <laughs> but uh, that is badass. It's <laughs> so sick. That's mine now. I stole it now. <laughs> um, no, yeah, DK. I, I, you know, I've always said DK is an uh, underrated character. And I will say, since the beginning of time, if you caught me talking about DK, I've always said we have the best DK in Nicaragua. Many, many times I've said it to anyone. I always thought he was a good character. He just needed, like, you know, someone with motivation mm-hmm. to keep using him but i don't know what's happening there's like a lot I there's a lot that many i i, I want i'm curious what you how you guys how y'all feel about like this train of thought because like i feel like in melee your character can do it if you can punish like if you got a good punish game your character can make it you know what i mean you can make it happen your, your character can do it if you can do it sure right that that makes sense yeah. like okay what i'm saying is like punish game is really important like <clears throat> At the end of the day, you might not win every set, but like, think about like when Wobbling was legal, right? Like, you're gonna take some sets. Maybe they're not playing good or whatever. You're gonna get some openings. You're gonna, you're gonna beat, you're gonna get your wins. Like, if your character can hit hard, like, that really matters, I think, in melee. And I feel like some characters, as time has gone on, have fallen off a little bit. Like, I'm thinking like a character like, let's say Samus, where like, what's Samus's win condition? You know, in some matchups, it's kind of ambiguous. It's like you kind of down smash them off the stage or something if they DI bad, and then you edge guard them a bunch. But like with DK, it's like, what's the DK win condition? You fucking grab them, <laughs> and they die. They explode. Like their stock is gone. Like DK wobbles like a couple of the top tiers. So I kind of feel like that alone is like, it's like pretty good. Obviously, DK has a lot of problems, but I think that's what's been pushing Omsa lately. Because yeah. his punish game has gotten nuts. Like, he tweeted one thing. He said, to get better, you the learn reaction tech, tech chasing and you win. And Dude. then he literally did that to win majors. Yeah. And, and I, I feel like DK, like, I can see the similarities in that with DK. Because DK's got that crazy punish game. He mm-hmm. can win. And I feel like all the DKs were, rating, were just waiting for ranked. I feel like they were all just around. They're just oh, like, my wait, God. Wait for ranked to come out. All right, it's out. Let's go. Yeah. They all just that like, character is built for ranked. Like, for ranked? <laughs> That's a great rank character. Because, like, you're going to lose some sets, but you're going to win a good amount of sets. Like, you're going to climb. You're just going to climb with that. I feel like that's a great rank character. Yeah, punish game is huge. Amsa is a scary person. It's like, terrifying. As a when player or as a person? I guess overall, because it seems like when he's determined for something, he just does it, you know? Dude, okay, so... He's a scary person. I have known Amsa for a long time. Um, like, you know, I don't know. I, I housed Amsa when he, like, before Genesis. Um... You know, we always hang out at Summit. Like, back when Amsa's English wasn't very good, you know, we used to, they used to put me and Amsa in the same room at Summit um, because, like, so it's like you can talk to someone in Japanese or whatever. And um, uh, I've noticed that as time has gone on and Amsa's gotten closer and closer to winning majors and then eventually has started winning majors, like, at Summit in particular, like, towards Sunday, Amsa gets really serious in a way that, you know, Amsa's mostly kind of like a goofy guy. Like, he's, like, very... You've seen his humor on Twitter now, right? He's funny. He's No, he's funny, yeah, yeah. He's funny. He's yeah, he's a funny Twitter guy. Lately, yeah. But like Summit, especially Saturday and Sunday, Ops is like, he's like murder face. Yeah, and he, then the tournament's scary. over and then he's back to just, up, you know, good old Ops. And I'm, I'm wondering like, damn, is that what it takes? Omsa Summit is something else. Uh, you, know what, you know what I'm talking about. I know you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, because I hang out right? with Omsa at Summit a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember it was uh, Sunday, the finals day, and you know how Summit normally brings like healthy stuff in the morning? 
yeah. uh, for just like preparing for the tournament or whatever. Amsa looked at it and he's just like, I think I want something else. He looked on maps and he looked at Wiener Schnitzel. And he's just like, Holy I'm going to go here. <laughs> so uh, the Sunday championship, he goes to Wiener Schnitzel and comes back. I'm like, dude, are you sure that's what you want? <laughs> and yeah, that's what he does. He'll get like pizza before the tournament. Like he eats heavy stuff before tournaments, which shocks me. He, yeah, he mentioned there was one summit where he had to wait three hours to play somebody. I think it was like HBox or someone. And he ate too light and healthy of a meal too far before his match or something. So he got like hungry. Anyway, he like didn't properly time the meal. And then we were like, we we're talking about the tournament after. He's like, yeah, I think I played pretty good. And he's like, I didn't time my meal correctly. And I was like, you gotta think about that sort of thing, I guess. That's yeah. what it takes. Dra drains out too early. It's a real thing. It's a real thing. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Do you feel like obviously all of y'all are better at winning tournaments and stuff like that than I am? Um, do y'all <laughs> feel like your demeanor ever like shifts when you're like, you know? gunning for, you know, finals day at Summit, or like, you know, it's like go time at a tournament or something. You try to like lock in mentally or do anything like that? Yeah, I, I go into, um, I listen to certain type of mu music, hip hop, stuff like that. I don't talk to anybody. I keep my headphones in until I'm mm -hmm. out of the bracket. Or if I win, but. Yeah. The, the day thing. before, I'm usually just talking to everybody. I walk around. Yeah. I'm just enjoying myself. It's funny you mentioned the music thing. Amsa actually recommended that to me. He was saying, because I was, I was complaining, because Amsa asked me, like, he's like, are you entering this Genesis? And I was like, this time I was like, no, I'm not entering Genesis. Uh, this time I got, I, I, I entered last year. He was like, I'm, he was like uh, this, this time I was like busy with commentary and stuff. You know, it's kind of annoying if I have to like, usually I have to like commentate a block and then I have to like immediately play, I can't really warm up. That's and Amsa was saying, yeah, it, it's hard. <laughs> but like one thing Amsa was saying is like, if you want to enter, like one thing you could try is like music. And in particular, it was like music to like get you in a certain frame of mind. So it's like when you're walking to the commentary setup, to commentate, you're not listening to music and like you're talking to people and like if someone comes up, you say hi or whatever. But then when you're when you're walking to your pool, you're listening to music, you're not saying hi to anybody. That is you literally walk in. what I was gonna say. Really? It's hard because, for example, when I signed up for Melee back in the day, yeah. I signed up to be decent, to be good. I never signed up for, you know, now there's a, it's a different thing. There's fans, people look up to you, you know? You don't, you kind of learn these things on the way and it's great now that we're in it, but Think about it, you put on your headphones and you gotta walk to your match. Yeah. Consciously, I can't ignore that much people. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I gotta take them, like I gotta do my thing. Oh, you scared me. Hey, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so the, what I'm trying to get at is when you, in that point, start socializing, you kind of get out of the mindset, that the tournament, the tournament mindset, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's hard to kind of have to get back into it after. Yeah. So what I'm trying to say is it's not only about tournaments, it's about the whole balance of things because we were mentioning mm -hmm. this. But. Yeah. yeah, I've been I've been different lately. Like, uh, I think what, okay, so what I would usually do is uh, on like the final day, let's use like, you know, final Sunday or whatever, mm -hmm. whatever day you got to be super serious on. Uh, I would usually kind of just like, yeah, be really serious. Try not to talk too much and just be, um, yeah, I guess just really focus on the magic. More serious than usual. Yeah. But lately I've been thinking more about like, dude, I feel like it's just me getting old. I'm thinking like, oh, I want to look back on this and be happy. <laughs> yeah. So uh, lately yeah. I've been thinking more like, you know what? I kind of just want to have a good time. And uh, I want like, like at Genesis, I would have my family with me and I want them to have oh, a good time. Yeah. And I want to like remember it this kind of way. So I've been a little more like relaxed about it lately and it's different because it's something I've only recently been doing do you feel like that makes you play like because for me personally like you know back when I was trying to get really good or whatever um I felt like I when I would go to tournaments and I would make my goal to like play good I would kind of put pressure on myself but when I'd make my goal to have fun I would end up playing good yeah yeah so up here it's like both. I don't know. There's like advantages and disadvantages to both. Because I've been like super serious and then I get destroyed anyway. And then I'm just really upset and then not happy and yeah. like all that. But I've also been like laid back and then get destroyed anyway. And sometimes I win both ways. Dude, right, know. right, right. It's like. It's a, bell. it's a mix. Yeah. I don't know, dude. There's like advantages and disadvantages to either mindset. But, and I yeah. feel like everyone handles it differently. Yeah. Everyone's got their own little thing. It's a 50-50, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I have a rule of thumb to never feel like it's that you're getting old or something. 
until the day Hugo starts saying it. Because if Hugo's not saying it by now, like... Say what? <laughs> he's feeling old. He's getting old. Oh. He hasn't even said it forever? He's, no. No. He I just think has everyone says that. Everyone About, says that. I got it. He just it. has the age, but he doesn't speak of it. You know what I mean? Right, 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 right. So I, I think, I think, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'm young. Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah. yeah. We're, we're young. We're young. <laughs> we're young. Just like... <laughs> Young Link. <laughs> Young Link. <laughs> Young Link, dude. Them, there, Full them. circle. Me a bit. Yeah. Uh, wait, I wanted to actually ask you. It's actually funny. Uh, I wanted to, I wanted to talk about Young Link again. I, I forgot because we, we we mentioned the Armada thing, and Adam Lindgren on ranked. Adam Lindgren. Did you, yeah. did you play? Lindgren. Did you play him on ranked or? Yeah, I played him on ranked twice or three times, and I don't know who it is. What's his name? Adam Lindgren. Adam Lindgren? Like Armada's real name. Armada's real name. Oh, his real name. Spelled the same. I think it's Adam Lindgren. Is that how you pronounce it? Adam Lindgren, yeah. Lindgren? Armada's real. Lindgren. No. Like Armada on your face, right? Like Lindgren? Lindgren. G-R-E-N. It's G-R-E-N. Lindgren. Lindgren. Is he good? He's all right. He's all right? He's all right. Would it be a good representation of Armada? No. Dude, I had this clip on Twitter Sorry. where- Dude, no one's I, a good representation of Armada. It would like, like, be Grounds to Sue right there for Armada. That's Grounds to Sue. Yeah. I had to fight Adam Lindgren, the young Link on, on Ranked, uh, with Random, I was using Samus, and he teched like a dozen down smashes in a row at the ledge. Oh, I saw that. Yeah, yeah I saw that. That was Adam Lindgren, the, the young Link. Yeah. I don't, we don't know who that is. We don't is. know who it is. It's not Armada. Unless, not. unless I have like 30 ping Just with Armada. <laughs> yeah, that'd be weird. Yeah. Do we, have a, do we have a VPN sponsor? No? Huh? No VPN sponsor? Okay, we won't. No VPN mention sponsor. Any That's <laughs> tragic. Hey, Nord, hit us up. Yeah, his slippy code is AR as well. It's like AR Oh, he's committed to the, yeah, so he's com like whoever that is. They're committed to the, the, the Armada. The Armada bit, yeah. The bit. But it's only Youngling, no Peach. No Peach. Just Youngling. Lindgren. Plays blue. The more information you provide, the more confused I am. You were the original blue. Am I the original blue? I, I yeah. play blue. I mean, I like, you the were the original, like, prominent blue young Link. Like, when I think blue young Link, because Armada was green. Yeah. Neutral. Armada always plays neutral everything, except for Fox. Yeah, what, what colors does Bambi play? Bambi. Yeah. What, which one? Green. Green. Bambi's green? Who? Cool. Yeah. Bambi. Bambi. Yeah. Bambi, Bambi, young Link. Rocket Coco. plays. Yeah. Yeah. What colors this Green. Rock? Green? Yeah. Does everyone play green or what? Yeah, I think they all do. <laughs> they all play green. Like, okay. I play neutral all colors because you protect your buttons by playing neutral. You protect your buttons? Oh, because you don't have you to... You don't have to like wear and tear your buttons to change your color. So long term, long term, it'll add up. I've probably in my lifetime yeah. saved a couple controllers or something, you know? But when you if, really think about it. But what if you use the button that you rarely jump with? Or do you use... Oh, yeah, that's true. I, like, I don't use X at all. I use I the play. top one. Which one's... Y. Yeah. So you could just use X to get. He said why? Because it's the color. top. Yeah, you could. Say, yeah, that's actually true. I actually do do this. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> did, you, did you ask why I use the top one, or is why the top one? I'm so confused. Okay. Why? Ax is saying, you jump. You jump with only one of those. Buttons, I said the right? top one. You said top why? One, which is why? Oh, okay. So it is why. I thought you were asking why the top one. <laughs> Sorry. But who's why is the top button? <laughs> but that's the sentence. Why is the top button? Period. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good. Why Tell is me the top why. button? X is the side button, hey. Okay, yeah, and I keep forgetting about this. So here's what X is saying, because I'll explain. Mm -hmm. I'll explain, okay. if, you, if I so may. Yeah. I, for example, I don't use X, the side button, when I play. Okay. I only use the top button. The top button. X is saying, when I pick my color, I could just use the side button, which I don't use otherwise, and I could only use that button for my color, and therefore it doesn't matter for my controllers. And you're saying you always do that anyway. That's what you do. I, I, I don't know. I, I, th I, I wasn't thinking of it that way, but I'm thinking of what I actually do in the character select screen. I think that's what I do. That's so funny. <laughs> I know so what? all of you use Y? Uh, I use Y to jump. I'm an X jumper. You're an X jumper. You're a side yeah. jumper? A, yeah, a side jumper. I'm a side, side jumper, jumper side too. Jumper. You're a side yeah? jumper? Why? Oh, I think with, so we're, um, the, we're the Xers, and these are the yes. Yers. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. For uh, multi shines, which is better? Yeah, I that's use, that's the thing. for Fox, I slide from Y to B. And this is an old school thing. Some old school player, like Zoo does this, I think. Um, when I f multi shine with Falco, instead of learning how to slide my thumb at a slower speed, I just slide my thumb at the same speed from X to B. You, wow. Do you know yeah. about this? 
yeah, thing. I mean, that makes sense, but I, I didn't know that somebody actually does that. Yeah, <laughs> that makes yeah, because it doesn't matter that you hit A. Like, pressing A in your jump squat doesn't do anything. Yeah. So you just slide X, A, B, and so when I play Falco, it's the only thing in the whole game I use the X button for is multi shining Falco. But you multi shine with like up and shit. I use tap jump, yeah. You're crazy. <laughs> I actually, Dude, I want to so see. Just, <laughs> yeah, it, it, I don't know. Somehow it makes sense to me. Do you, with Fox too? With Fox, I literally can't do it. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah I was going to say like that sounds fast with Fox. impossible. Too yeah. fast with Fox. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah. For me, I use Y. I slide Y to B with Fox if I want to okay. do a bunch. But if I do, 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 do a, like just a double, double shine, yeah. I'll use X. For Falco, I only use X. So. Okay, X, like X, X to be like that. Yeah. So yeah, you kind of do what I do. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Oh, there we go. I guess that's a normal thing. Well, how do you do it? What, moldy china? Yeah. Oh, I, I tried it once, I got two. <laughs> <laughs> but did you try, hey, nice job. did you try the, the top button or the side button? The top one, yeah. Uh, oh, okay. The side one, I've never used it ever, I think. You could change colors with it if you ever want to use not neutral. I have like PTSD, <laughs> wait, what, sorry? You could change colors with it if you don't want to use. But it damage, like it carries. You know, like you press buttons. Yeah. You know how motherboard works. If dirt, <laughs> if, if dirt goes okay, inside. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 It'll, it'll like, like carry over to collateral. the collateral. Yeah. So it's like okay. you want to avoid He's as much really damage. Really thinking of everything. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Like even That's L and R. Level. Do you guys use both buttons for stuff? I use both. Both? Okay. Yeah, I use both. both. I use both. I use both. I use R for everything. So my L, I actually use the the contact thingy. How and long I switch do your controllers out. usually last? Like. Yeah. <laughs> but no, it's real. Like, I use R for everything. Sometimes, you know, when you think you're going to miss a tech, I use L, but very rarely. And yeah, with L, I just change the contact and I pass it onto my R. So, like uh, I said, I've saved controllers over yeah. the wow. time of my life. Pretty economical. 24 years of controllers, you know, it'll, it'll yeah. Yeah. Because you 24, what? 24, hmm? 24, years. 24 years of controllers. Because you're 24 years old. Yeah. I'm just playing melee out of the womb. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, how do you multi-shine with Fox? Oh, I just can't. I for I mean, sure have seen you multi- What? I can, um, I for some reason, Fox? I'm good at double shining with Fox using Y. Oh, uh, But, like, I never okay. go past double. You don't go past two. You don't yeah. really need to. Yeah, you but know? I, yeah, but apart, I want to. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'll never forget the time you like sex tuple shined <laughs> my shield and friendlies. I, I can't forget that. He does I, some insane stuff. Yeah, he, he does. does. I used to multi shine a lot. I did. I need to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that stuck with me because no one else did that to me. I was like, dude, he literally walked up to me and just like multi shined my shield. He does stuff like, like that. Almost it's 10 times or something. It's like it makes you good. nervous and it's good. I this is why it's I never good. this is why I never got good. I just care about doing stuff like that. Well, yeah, but it's like mental damage. It is know? mental damage. Like I think that that's stuff is. is when you get 3 damage and they like grab they you do 3 damage, they go to the ledge, but you're like, yeah, mental damage. And that's what you got to tell yourself. <laughs> yes, that's the copium that keeps you going. <laughs> they just yeah. go to the ledge. It's like cool. Yeah, like they like ledge dash and punish you. It's like fuck. We, you're going to be like we played, I lost, but he'll be talking about me after. I future. don't, I don't. No, in this case, they'll be talking about you. Oh, about me. Yeah, yeah so, yeah. like, you're the real winner in this case. Right, right. Yeah, like, I lost those friendlies. Yeah, sure. You know? Was this in Washington? I don't, I can't remember where we played. It's, I it's, feel like it was, like, at Otto's house. Like, yeah, it might have been that. Uh, yeah, we had Adam PPMD Langren. there, too, yeah. didn't we? PPMD won that tournament. Yeah. PP got first. Lovage got second. I think you got third. Did I get third? I don't remember, dude. It was you or SVAT. <laughs> one of you got third, one of you got fourth. Okay. As I as I recall it, yeah, it's historical stuff. It, yeah. Esfat and I always got right next to each other. Yeah, so. you and I remember you and Esfat and you and Lovage. Those were like the those were like the two foxes that you you would always have classic sets for some reason. Well, the thing with Esfat is I feel like we're kind of like we were kind of even historically. Yeah. With Lovage, I just straight up would always lose to him. Oh. Yeah. Like. Huh. I don't know what it was. He was fucking just, good. You'd beat me <laughs> most of the time. Huh. I'm like I don't know what it was. But then when he beat Leffen that one time, I just I was sitting there like <laughs> in like 2018 yeah. or whatever. Yeah, like, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> that was that was like so random. That was so because that was remember, well after. For I some remember reason, watching. I was like, that. yeah. <laughs> makes I was sense so confused. I was so confused. I was like, I know he's good, but yeah, shit, it made no sense. No, it made no fucking sense. He like go it was like game three and he like goes up three stocks to one. He like looks back at the commentators. He's like, what? <laughs> you see that? He's like, what the fuck is that? Like, Why am I winning? Like, I think he won. He went. 
Yeah, no, he did. He, he's just like that. Like he did. He did not give a fuck. He was like, oh fuck yeah. Like he was just like, all right, what the fuck. <laughs> Yeah, he's so like dead or this. Dude, I'll guy. always think that he's like one of the best players ever. If he wanted to, no, if he wanted back, to. Back, back in that era, there and there was a long history like on the West Coast. Like, dude, there was a even well after Lovage like quit, qu quit. Um, like Mango was trying to put him in every SoCal crew for like a long time because Mango was like, I know you could be like if you wanted to, you could just be. Yeah. You know. It was kind of strange where you can just, like, if you played enough and you understand the game, you can kind of watch it. Yeah. And that helps, too, you know, when you get back into the game. Taj, this Genesis, right? Dude, he got 33. Mm -hmm. He got 33. With all Mewtwo. He's a legend. Did you see his set with Umarth? I did. Man, I was watching it in the room. I had it on, I had it on the TV. Um, Umarth's my boy. Uh, Umarth's great. Got ranked top 90 or 80 or something this year. Congratulations, Umarth. But like, man, and Umar, I love you, bro. But I was, I was cheering for Taj. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, that shit broke my heart. That one, it was like the one game. It was like game two or something, and, and it was like last dog. And Taj tried oh, to the ramen noodles. Oh, for it, yeah. And um, you got triple M'd, right? He tried to take his cookies. That's what. Tried to take his tried cookies. Tried to take his cookies. Yeah. Tried to take his, but but he had the the seal, the vacuum seal on the cookie jar. Umar, yeah. the vacuum seal on the cookie jar. I think jar. he did. Yeah, that's what I should have done. Cause we went out to eat later that night. I had oh. a cookie. Taj literally Taj went over and took the cookie. That's amazing. <laughs> He was thinking about it from the Umar set. He's when, like, he, when you like snag a ledge, a ledge from someone like frame perfectly, he calls it taking your cookies or stealing your cookies. Your cookies. Yeah, taking your cookies? Taking your cookies. Steal your cookies. So that's okay. what Taj always calls it. Yeah. But, but I guess like something. Because it's like, yoink, took yeah. your cookie. <laughs> hey, you grab the ledge on him. Yeah. Yeah. What is the official term for getting the, the Mewtwo thing? You know, the, the teleport thing where you push them down battlefield? Oh, you're talking about the, the... Is it oh, confusion? Is uh, that what it's called? Confusion. Yeah. Confu yeah. Confusion. No. Is it? Oh, yeah. yeah, it's side B. Yeah, okay. Side B. All through. Confusion. There's no word for that, right? I just... You got M'd. No, Actually, well, I don't know. It has what, a name. Wait, what? There's got to be a name. There's no name. Like the... It is if available. You go on, if you go on Smash Boards, like, someone named it something really stupid. I'm guaranteed. How do I think about it? I don't know what they call that. Like the abyss. Abyss. I think it's just confusion. The move is for sure. Confusing. It is confusing. And it does oh, confuse but, people. Yeah. But what do you call it? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, what did you have for breakfast? <laughs> Taj has got to have a name for it, right? I would think so. Like if we ask Taj, did I tell you I about the time that I thought well, you were he Taj? Does, on he does say you got kidnapped. You got but kidnapped. Like, he yeah. says that for that a lot sounds of dangerous. <laughs> I would not be telling people that. <laughs> that I wouldn't in public. He says that for a lot of, like when I back throw someone, he says that. Kidnap. But it's also for the Ford B thing, but you I feel like that's crazy names in Arizona. Yeah, when it's, when a lot they tech into your downer, it's the Tezuka Zone or whatever. Oh, Tezuka Zone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I know that uh, one. Like There's pretty the much all of destruction. It's a lot of Prince of Tennis. Pretty much all of it is Taj. Yeah. Okay. Taj came up with almost everything. Taj is a weeb, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, oh, he, yeah. He ha t to play Mewtwo, you have to have good imagination. I would, I think it's safe to say. Mm -hmm. Mewtwo's a hard character to play, and, you know, Mewtwo's Taj is a very yeah. imaginative person. Do you have a Mewtwo? You got a Mewtwo. I have a Mewtwo. Yeah, I do get a Mewtwo. No. I do get a Mewtwo. <laughs> you have to say, I have a pocket everything. I have a pocket everything. Oh. <laughs> I, I have a pocket everything. You, that's what you're uh, supposed to say. It's all included. Yeah. I get, that was thinking about it, like, because we're doing three of these roundtables today. Watch, watch all the videos as they come out. Um, I feel like out of all the roundtables I'm doing, this is probably the one with the highest concentration of the best pocket characters. Best second. Pocket, pocket everything. Pocket everything. Pocket everything. <laughs> I, like, if, if, I feel like if this couch did an Iron Man crew battle with the other couches, even... Well, okay, yeah. Would I mean, we you got to have Lod. We would sweep. We would win, yeah. Well, Iron what's Man? Our, what's our competition? Who's, like, the next? No, we don't have competition. In, I mean, Cody has a... He, he Cody's has got characters. characters. Oh, yeah, Jake yeah. has... Do we? Okay, so I won't. they got low tiers like that though. But do they have a I, pocket everything? Yeah, no, they don't. definitely don't. Mango's, have a got, Mango's got characters. <laughs> pocket <laughs> nothing. Mango, y'all used yeah. to do. Not yeah. Mango. Yeah. But Zane has pocket characters too. Zane's Zane? got a boy. Yeah. Zane but doesn't Zane doesn't have, have low tiers. They're all right. Zane doesn't have pocket characters. He doesn't. Did I tell you? I uh, speaking of, of Zane, he. We could just go Link on Zane. Is it a Zane thing? Zane hates Link. Is it a thing? We gotta where, keep bringing it back to yeah, Link. Yeah. Is it this a is thing where Marth team. players just seem to so, hate Link? So yeah, we were talking about this with Axe. It was it, we were talking about this in the corner before we started recording because we do con long time Golden Guardians melee fans, GG melee fans watch our videos and you know that when we do these like whatever low tier challenges, we gotta play a bunch of low tiers, mid tiers, whatever. Um, like I can't play Yoshi. I still need to hit Omsa up. I want to do a content thing where Omsa teaches me how to play Yoshi. Because Yoshi's my worst character. I can't, I can't. I just can't play Yoshi. I try to jump out of shield. 
and I can't, and I'm. I feel like a, a lot of that goes for a lot of people. Like Yoshi's yeah. you, a very common worst character. I'm yeah. so dog shit. Dog. Same. Anyway, anyway. Uh, Zane hates, so like, it'll be like, oh, you have to play all the characters, but like, each of you can veto one character. So you don't have to, play. and Zane always gets rid of Link, or Young Link, or both. I told him it's not a good look, like, no one does that. No one does that, no yeah. Does Link that. is like a fun character, and, he, and Zane's like, I fucking hate Link. Like, Zane hates <laughs> Link. Yeah. And at first we're like confused, because like, we don't yeah. get it. Like, you play Marth, you play Roy, you play these sword characters. What's the next sword character? Like, what's the logical next sword? And it's like Link. But then we talked about it more. We realized Link's not really a sword character. Yeah, because Link's a mid tier. The mid tier. At, from a Marth's point of view, from a Marth main's point of view, if you're thinking like a Marth player, as some of you are, because some of your Marth players watching this probably, hopefully, then Link is a mid tier. Yeah. And Marths hate mid tiers. Yes. Yeah, because usually when you get a like a character ban, you'll ban like I don't know one of the double jump characters or. You know, I don't know, Game and Watch or some, or Sheik, you Bowser know, but or Bowser or something like that. But <clears throat> Link is just not a good look. I don't trust you if you ban Link. You know what I, I mean? Like Link. I like Link. Link. Link is sick. maybe Zane has like lost to a Link player back before he got good. Yeah. You know, like sometimes if you always get beat by your friend who plays this character, you just end up hating that character. Maybe he has like some Link that he used to lose to or something. Yeah. Some bad yeah. memories. Something. Some like bad that. memories. Yes. Yeah. Marths have like that aspect, right? Because it's like, like matchups like oh, Pikachu, Yoshi, Ganon. Like, there's like mid tiers where like if you're if you play any other top tier, it's just like, oh yeah, my character just wins this matchup or whatever. But then Marth is like, oh, this is randomly like stressful. <laughs> yeah, he should be winning, but he doesn't that hard. Yeah, yeah. imagine you have to fight he has like to work hard. Yeah, he has to like randomly work hard, right? Like I'm imagining like if I had to play a Ganon from. <laughs> As a Fox player, I'm like, all right, cool. <laughs> but Marth? That, if you're a Marth player, it's like. <sighs> Marth mid tiers is terrifying for Marth. Every Marth yeah. is stressing if they have to play it's, any mid tier, any mid -tier. including Link. Including Link. It, yes. Including so Link. So that might be the whole Zane thing. There... I don't understand the young Link. <laughs> I don't understand the young Link. Yeah, I don't understand the young Link. Yeah. Wait, he, a... Zane hates young Link? I think Zane hates young Link, yeah. Really? He hates, yeah. The, he, he, he hates the Links as well. He hates the Links. Is what they're saying. That's rude. I think it's rude. Really, yeah, Link's fine. Yeah, I prefer not to fight Link. I think it's because the, yeah, we, we were talking about this. They wanna. Well, I don't know about Young Link, but they wanna be the Marth players wanna be the range owners, but Link owns range as well, kind of, right? Yeah, yeah. And then I guess Ganon kind of owns range. When I got into melee, like back in the day, mid range. When I got into, into melee, like 2008, like the logic back then was like Marth Link is even. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, people would talk about, like, Marth is obviously the better character, but, like, Link can do it against Marth. Mm -hmm. And, like, I think even today, like, he's not a, oh, fuck, he's right there. <laughs> I know what you're about. Ah. <laughs> oh. Clop. <Be> <laughs> right? Oh, oh, I remember. At the nightclub. Right? <laughs> PB, keep Kenorn distracted. No, we were just looking if they had waters in the back. Yeah, yeah, we were looking if they uh -huh. had water. Link, Link, Marth, it was thought to be like an even matchup. Um, and yeah, I, I still think it's like close to even. Like for a melee matchup, it's like pretty even. Uh, so it, it kind of makes sense. It kind of makes sense. Uh, something people don't talk about in melee too much. There are random like soft counters in melee where it's like, okay, well, Marth still wins, but. Yeah. You can do work with Link, you know, somehow. There's just yeah, some yeah, yeah, yeah. weird matchups where it just happens. Yeah. Soft counter, I feel like, is like a phrase not really explored in Melee, but it's a real thing. Soft counter, soft, to me, it makes sense. Like, I'm thinking like a matchup like, I don't know, like even. Game and Watch uh, Falcon, that's the soft counter. Sure. Yeah. Wait, explain that. Because, like, Falcon still wins, but you can do some, like, like Pete, like you know, like yeah, rated, you, you know. can you can combo the mess out of that. Yeah, game. like if they're not ready for it, like yeah. they they could have a hard time. Ganon Marth, like Marth beats Ganon, but okay, it's like yeah. the kind of matchup where like in like in tournament or something, if you like you Combined just randomly if you're a Marth player, you randomly fight again, it's like oh shit. Combine like, with the stage, yeah. yeah. Roy yeah. Puff on Yoshi. Mm. That's a specific. Yeah, that's a soft ass counter. <laughs> Yep. That might even be. Yoshi's, that might even be. Well, a counter that would be a, a, a pro, straight out counter. And then Roy's got the. Does Roy win yeah. there? Yeah, I, Roy's got the counter. Could yeah, be even. Counter. Yeah, counter. 
And you were on it today. Thank you. <laughs> what did you eat for breakfast today? So you want to tell us? I had a bagel. I had a bagel. Like are they still there? Can yeah, I they're one? still there. Salt had a bit of bagels are good. They were really good. Yeah, good. I love bagels. Ed, you don't have oh I forgot about what I was gonna start calling our friend Ed. None. Uh <laughs> Eddie. <laughs> Oh, I'm Eddie now. Right? You're Eddie now. Yeah, yeah. Eddie. Yeah, Eddie. Uh, Eddie. You don't have a Luigi. This is confusing, I know. I do. Um, you do? Yeah. But not, like, use it's my not other, like you're Mario. When I'm not none, when I'm Eddie Mexico. You know? <laughs> uh, just how it is. Just, uh, this is going to confuse. <laughs> this name is, is Eddie confuse and you're Mexico. You know, yeah. just kind of play Luigi. Yeah. There are gonna be people like, I don't know, like a year from now, they're like, wait, I'm confused. I thought none was Eddie Mexico. Like I saw that one video. Well, that's a, that's a secret of growing your name because then they'll come and investigate you and they do the mm. research. You know, it's just all part of the system. Yeah. Uh, I haven't seen you play that much Luigi. Luigi? Yeah. Luigi's tough. I play Mario. I can't do Luigi. Too much ice. Like, ice. Too much it's really ice. weird. Luigi's kind of weird. Yeah. You gotta be really grounded usually, kind of. You have a Luigi. You have a pocket, everything. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's, so that's what I'm talking yeah. about. That's so good. I, oh man. Yeah, Luigi's, uh, it's really funny. When I got into Melee, like, so, Wash, like, when I started playing Melee in 2008, I was living in Seattle, Washington, and Com Master's from Seattle. Okay. And DJ Combo, who was a member of that crew with Silent Wolf and Eggs and Com Master. Blade wise, um, DJ Combo's a Marth player. And DJ Combo, I remember he was telling me, he's like, he's like, man, I got a, me personally, I got a fucked up tier list. I was like, can I say fuck? I got a messed up tier list. I was like, okay. And he's like, yeah, like, I was like, I think Luigi's top five. I was like, <laughs> and, and then I, but like every local, I was like, I'd been playing Melee for like two months. And, you know, I would watch Com Master win every local, and, like, he he's would amazing. just make it look free. He's amazing. And he so was good. beating, like, Salt Wolf, and he went at every local against those guys. And I'm just like, yeah, I mean, I guess so. Like, and, and I don't I mean, it just goes to show you, like, whatever your, like, local... Back then, and you got to realize, like, back then, there's way less cross-pollination between different regions. Because, mm -hmm. like, there's no online, right? Mm -hmm. So I was kind of like, yeah, I mean, I see it. And, like, Com Master was the only... Com Master had only been to two majors ever. Because um, the thing about Comaster Master is Comaster Master is Mormon. So Comaster Master could only go to one day events and have to be home by Sunday to go to church. And so there were very few events that were only Saturday where also he was off. Make, and, and could make it home in time for, to get yeah, home on he, Sunday. Uh, he would be in Nicaragua because he would do his, his stuff over in Nicaragua. He was in Nicaragua. Yeah, he was in Nicaragua for and a couple years. I think his, his wife is from there. And uh, yeah, I would bring him yeah. over to the, to the scene. And yeah, he knows everyone. He's so good. He's, oh, that's so funny. Wow. Yeah, Kamash yeah, was also in Hawaii for a couple years because uh, there's a Brigham Young campus in Hawaii. So he's also, you know, he was like Hawaii ranked. Power, power rank number one and stuff. Yeah, I'll run into him on Slippy yeah. sometimes. He, yeah, yeah, so yeah, he's playing a lot of Falcon these days. Oh, he's always played a lot yeah. of Falcon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's doing Falcon Luigi, but Falcon yeah. Luigi. Yeah, that's always his friendliest character. Even back in like 2009, I'd go to his house in Hawaii, and we would play like hours Fox Falcon, and then we would do like a best of five at the end Fox Luigi. You know, and that and that's the only Luigi I would get, um, and which I didn't. I, I, I wasn't complaining because, like, I'd rather fight a Falcon than Luigi. Like, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, great, great guy, though. Uh, he's awesome. Yeah. He is, like, the kind of guy that would have a pocket everything. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. He's just, like, yeah, he's, he's so sick. Stand up. Uh, shout outs to Shout outs to Master. Master. I feel like a lot of that's uh, an old school thing. Where yeah. they have, like, a lot of the old school players just have pocket everything. everything. <laughs> mm -hmm. Salt, so, you're not that old school. Or are 2014. you? 2014. 2014? 2014. Which I guess at this point, it's funny, like, because for me, I'm like, oh, 2014, yeah, that's pretty, that's like, that's a couple years ago. That's pretty recent. And then I'm like, <laughs> that feels recent. shit, I guess it's not that recent. But like, yeah. to, the, to, the, to the Slippy kids, it's like, oh, that's old school, you know? Yeah. There's like layers. I feel old school, but not super old school. Yeah. It's a little old school. Yeah. When did, when did you start playing? 2014. Like actual 2014 or beforehand, like before tournaments? Well, I started to enter tournaments 2015, mm. but I started in 2014. I started like playing, playing and all that. What about casually? Did you play casually before that, or as a kid, I played classic mode with Donkey Kong and just press down oh, B. Donkey yeah. Kong. Oh hell yeah! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's the that's the um when you fight the wireframes. Yeah. Hey, pro mode. tip to all the kids out there trying to unlock Falco. 
You down B, and then you'll the hundred man melee. You just down B. They don't have to unlock Falco anymore. I think a lot of people are like, wait, you they have to don't have to unlock Falco anymore. Oh, oh these kids have it money. These, these kids have it easy yeah. nowadays. I just yeah, you realized know. Slippy kids don't know about. Okay, this is the last thing we're gonna talk about. They don't know about not having memory cards. They don't know about memory cards. They yeah. don't know about unlocking characters. Okay, my my wife now. Uh, we got married. I'm Congrats. still. Thank you. I'm still getting used to saying my wife, not my girlfriend. Uh, my wife. It's really funny. So we started dating, um, and then COVID hit, and so she would watch me play old, like when she first started watching me play Melee. It was pre-rollback, right before rollback, so I'd play Anthers, it was delay-based. And if you remember, that version of Melee, it would boot directly up to the character select screen, and the announcer would say, survival, yeah. because it's yeah. like, you know, it's a survival. And she would call it like as a joke. She'd be like, oh, "Are you gonna play some survival?" <laughs> and then, survive. if you notice when you boot up Slippy, they changed it so the announcer says "melee" when he goes to the screen or whatever, which is cool. But then she noticed it. And she's like, "Why does it say melee now, not survival?" And I was like, "It's the part two. And I was like, "Oh yeah, that is yeah. like I was like, "You've only known it as survival." And then the first time she saw a victory screen, she was like, "What is that?" Is this, she was like, is that a modded version of the game? Like, why is there just, like, stats and stuff? Like, the characters, like, do a little pose. And I was like, oh, you've, yeah, you've never seen that. Like, she watched it, like, the first time she watched a tournament. She's like, why is there, like, a little windscreen? Like, what? That's, 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 they, they hacked that in. I was like, that's crazy. So, sometimes I blow people's minds in tournaments. Yeah. When, when I'm playing for someone. Yeah. And I, and I go through the menu to turn on Rumble. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and if Rumble's on for them, they're like, I don't know how to turn off yeah. Rumble or it's turn a, it's on a, or anything. It's a brand new feature uh, for them. Yeah, it's yeah. A, new, a new thing. Slippy kids are privileged. Yeah. yeah. Kind of like so that chain privileged. grab that came out recently. New, yeah. new chain grab. Oh, yeah, new new <laughs> chain grab. Brand new. <laughs> new cha oh, the, the yeah. gamut one. I saw that. Yeah. People were like, oh, do you know about this? I didn't know. I was like, you Dude, at the airport, the guy played Melee, and he was telling me that I, he, it, it seemed like he was insinuating that I invented the chain grab. Who? You? <laughs> yeah, because he just thought, I guess, all Falcon players are the same person, or Ganon players. Yeah. And I just stayed quiet. But anyways, the point is, every now and then, <laughs> the new thing, old things are new again. Yeah. It's like yeah. a cycle. Yeah. You know, it's like a cycle of life that Millie has. Mm -hmm. And it's Dude, strange. It's curious. I want to know, as a Ganon player, this is the actual last thing we're talking sad. about. It's sad. As yeah. a Ganon player, as a Ganon player, the thing we used to talk about back in the day was, because you know how Magus posted the, the Ganon? The Ganon on a Sheik one's like pretty easy. Right? Yeah. Ganon can chain grab Falco. Yeah, but it's rude. Well, I don't like to do it. Isn't it really hard? Pretty rude. I, I, I think it's bad karma if you're just like doing. I, I hate getting players. I'm not I joking. Am, I, am I am not joking. I tried it one time. It was friendlies. I lost a friend. Yeah. <laughs> okay, no, not not that dark. Like I didn't. He, he's yeah, still they got here. Pissed. They got this. But I lost him. Like we haven't talked in some time. And ever since then, I kind of don't do that. That's the part Ganon of the Falcon. reason. No, mostly just chain grabs in general. If you're get bro, I feel like if you're playing Ganon, like you should be doing it. You gotta be. Because <laughs> like, if you're not chain grabbing your opponent, what the fuck are they doing to you? Well, I think it's yeah. only acceptable if you're chain grabbing Sheik. That's my. Yeah. Goal. She deserves I, to get chain yeah, grabbed. Like the only one I want to chain grab in yeah. friendlies is Sheik. That's it. Same actually. I've changed my mind. I feel it. Yeah. I feel it. Okay, wait, wait, wait. The Ganon on Falco one isn't it really hard? Mm, yeah, to, like guess. to react to the DI. But once they're after like 50 or something, it's yeah. like very doable. Oh, okay, 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 like okay. Yeah. okay, that makes sense. Early percents, it's really hard, but can you do it on Fox? You can do it on anybody. Okay. The way not I floaties. Yeah, not floaties. Yeah. The way I say, see things is always if something is super hard, it's probably not practical to be trying it in tournament, right? I think you can replace it for something else. Yeah. Until something is comfortable for you, you can start to do it in tournament. Yeah. But these new kids are doing insane stuff that I never thought possible. Like know? the Ganon chain grab. Yeah, new. but I don't, I still, <laughs> yeah, the new one the new came one. out not that long ago. Yeah, that's crazy. But what I'm trying to say is, you know. I think of the Zuppy shine. That's I awesome. think it's not. <laughs> I, hate, I, hate, I hate it. I hate it. I'm sorry. Zuppy, I love you, bro. Zuppy, I love you, bro. Zuppy, I love you, bro. That's not the Zuppy shine. I'm sorry. <laughs> to me, that's the Javier. Yeah, I always call it the Javier shine. I think it's the first time, like, most of us have seen it. But I did want to say two things when we were talking about the other stuff. Yeah. One, these new kids don't know how hard it is to do 15 minute, uh, the 15 minute 15 melee, minute melee yeah. for to unlock the Yoshi stage, right? Back in the Yoshi day, stage? yeah, is I it think the book, the yeah, the one for home run con 
Oh no, I don't remember what, do you, what you. I unlocked. forgot what it unlocked. I forget what it unlocked. Uh, yeah, I forgot what it unlocked. It's a, it's I don't know. Stage but seven. you know how sad it is to do that for 14 minutes and a half uh, and just die when you're about to end. Dude, yeah. That was the saddest. It's because the ever. last one is stronger than all the rest. Stronger, of them. like one of the last yeah. five or something. Just like the last game and watch in All Star. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. We've been through a lot. You yeah, know, through a lot. Yes, yeah, I'm happy that everyone is being saved from these torments. You yeah, know? I know that uh, the 100-man melee is for Falco. Falco, yeah. I used to do that when I didn't Because that's the first Falco. thing you do. Yeah, it's like, yeah. I need Falco. That's the you one. 100-man melee. Even playing on, I had to do that kind of recently. I, I, it was at Riptide yeah. uh, after the tournament. This is, sorry. Yeah, Riptide it was like the first tournament out of COVID. And um, Essie was there. And I was like, oh, shit, Essie, I haven't seen you in years. And we sat down on a set, because they, they'd mostly taken out all the setups. But we found like some shitty setup in the corner in the in the merch hall. It was like one of you know like some of the merch booths randomly like there'll be like a merch booth that has a setup or something. Yeah. But it's like not a, there was no UCF, there was no UCF, and the characters we didn't even have a memory card, so there were no characters. And <laughs> vanilla, wow. vanilla melee. And for some reason like she was feeling ICs for some reason, so we played some like we were playing some different characters, and S was playing ICs. <laughs> And I was like, man, I can't dash back. Like, <laughs> this is hard because it's not UCF icy sauce, but whatever. Uh, but we, we unlocked uh, Falco because it's like, well, fuck it. We could just do it real quick with the Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong. Pro tip. This is a little, I'm going to leave you with this thought. All you aspiring melee pros, you too can unlock Falco by pressing down B with Donkey Kong in the middle of the battlefield. You'll, you'll get Falco, and it's going to be great. Thanks for watching the Golden Gauntlet Roundtable, part one. Look forward to part two soon, coming at you to a theater near you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, you have a pocket? Everything. Everything. <laughs> Your pocket characters are I, I like, man, I, it's crazy. Like, I'm like, god damn, like. That's fun. Yeah. Work, everybody. You, you play your secondaries in tournaments sometime, right? Yeah.